I have just been informed that I am live. Hello. Um, this is going to be Portal Glitchless. I guess we have a vault to go off. So, uh, we're going to start that off. <clears throat> we're cutting a little bit of surprise portal. We're uh, ahead of schedule, so the timer's going to start in 3, 2, 1, go. Awesome. This is Portal Glitchless. Oh, uh, welcome. My name is M Sushi. I'm okay at this game. <laughs> I hope. Um, hopefully you guys will think that too by the end, but for right now, we're kind of stuck in a vault. So, um, I guess I can explain the premise of Glitchless, which is completing Portal without glitches. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, some quick lore, I know. It's a shame we always beat these games so fast, we overview the, the masterful story, but, um, GLaDOS here, the, the voice you're hearing, kind of sounds like a cheapy text-to-speech. Um, they improved that a lot in the second game, but for now we have to bear with it for a little bit, but, uh, she's gonna want us to do some tests, and, spoiler alert, uh, I hope you've played Portal at this point. It, it's 2018, people. Portal is a shooter puzzle masterpiece. Turn off the stream right now, play it for yourself, regardless. The main premise of the game is that there are portals. You go through one, you count out the other. Uh, during the first couple of maps, we won't have control over them. And by first couple of maps, I mean only this map. But it is okay. Excellent. Another important aspect of the game is physics objects. You see that cube back there putting it on buttons. Um, it's going to be a crucial part of the puzzles that we're going to solve. Uh, we're going to use the term puzzles lightly here because we will really be not solving too much and more exploiting the puzzles. But regardless, I should go over what glitchless means. Um, Again, no glitches, but you might ask, what are glitches in Portal? Um, there's the notorious accelerated backwards hopping. That is definitely a glitch. You hop backwards. It's pretty slow. Now, I might, you might be saying, though, back there outside the vault you saw, you might be saying, I'm stuttering really hard, I apologize. M. Sushi, you were bunny hopping. Like, what are you doing right here? You're bunny hopping. Um, bunny hopping is actually just as fast as... as just as fast as hopping in a straight line. It is slightly faster, but it's essentially uh, negligible in the, the big scene of things. Um, another other glitches we won't be using is any out of bounds shenanigans, none of that. Um, we'll also be uh, steering away from the save glitch, which is a path we don't want to go down. There's also portal bumping where you can shoot portals and essentially ignore walls. It's it's pretty weird. You're just gonna bear with me about all the stuff I'm explaining that you don't get to see. So I can make what you do see as entertaining as possible. Speaking of entertaining, we have the portal gun. Oh yes. For glitchless, um, the second half of the run where we get the dual portal gun is definitely a lot faster than the first half where we're limited to one portal. Um, for now, we only have the blue portal, so we're at the mercy of wherever the game likes to put our orange portal. And these chambers are pretty straightforward, these first couple of ones at least. Every glitch I'm not using, right, we're not using vertical wall warp. Um, that's a classic glitch, I know you might have been looking forward to that one this run, I apologize. <laughs> In reality, you can go on the speedrun.com page, there's a nice comprehensive list. And yeah, just because I know people like to meme glitchless runs, if the question is, is this a glitch? The answer is no. Shoutouts to Black Belt Ginja Ninja. That's a pretty good GDQ run. But regardless, we're gonna be putting cubes on buttons. And I know you might have said, that chamber looked pretty cool. You put one cube on a button. Now let me tell you, you know what's cooler than putting one cube on a button? I'll, I'll give you some time to think. I times up two cubes on two buttons. Oh yes. Real slick. Alright, this chamber is quite special because it's a speedrun, you know, we want to go fast, but that elevator won't move till GLaDOS finishes talking. And it's really boring, so I just spend it emancipating cameras and all that. This is like a nice little spot where you can shoot a portal through. Not a glitch. It's not a glitch, people. And Chamber 6. Chamber 6 introduces this really cool thing called the Energy Orb. You see it right there. Uh, it's used to solve a puzzle, but puzzles are slow, so we're going to use our space bar there and uh, get to the end. 
energy. Pack but don't 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 worry. We'll use the energy ball the next chamber. It's a really cool chamber. There are platforms, such as you know, everything you could want in that one. You'll see it up here. Yep, look at that energy ball and um say goodbye. If I, if I got that fling, which I didn't, but <laughs> we can skip the chamber quite easily. Energy pellets and have therefore been disabled for your safety. And yeah, we're almost done with the pre-portal gun part. Don't worry, the run's about to get a lot more interesting. But first, we need this cool glitch called ABH over goo. Is what I would say if this wasn't glitchless. <laughs> oh look, more energy balls. Any contact with the chamber yeah, in in your dreams, later chamber. Um, there's a nice little, you know, the chamber nice likes to have a nice aesthetic with those uh blocks popping out of the wall. We can just jump on one of them, get right to the end. It's uh pretty easy actually. You can try it yourself with a portal. Chamber nine. This chamber is actually impossible, so it might take a little bit for me to get it. Hold on. Yeah, even Glado says it. Is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Well, I didn't try to solve it, but did a nice little cube throw. There are some cool cube throws in this run. We'll see one in about two chambers. That's really cool. And yeah, uh, the purple portal gun is actually a glitch. I don't know where that one came from, so I think my run's invalid, but... Chamber 10, we're going to be doing this thing called a portal stand. This is kind of glitchy, so I'm going to call it a trick. You can stand on the seam in between portals. Even though I wasn't deliberately standing on a ground, you are intended to stand between portals. So, there's that. And there's just abusing momentum. There's usually another smaller little uh, platform you're supposed to go on in between, but you can get all our momentum by flinging out from the bottom. So, Alright, in chamber 11, 12, we're going to be getting the dual portal gun here. There is actually a quite complex puzzle here, which we can solve by pressing spacebar <laughs> and jumping. Pretty cool. And into the elevator. Alright, um, that was chamber 11, which, uh, actually has a lot to it. It's very confusing to solve casually, but we're doing it in a breeze. Chamber 12 probably has arguably the coolest strat in the game for glitchless. We're gonna first be doing a strafe here get up to this platform. These are triggered by looking at them. And then we will do a cube throw to that button right there with this cube. Hail Mary. Right on the button. <laughs> it's a shame. We know we have to jump towards the door because the door can close on us, but trust me, it is glorious to watch. And now we're just starting the action. These chambers are a lot more fast-paced to the point where you'll be feeling that these elevator cutscenes are a lot longer. Chamber 13 is going to have another cube throw. Oh, if uh, I was good at throwing cubes. Unfortunately, though, I only have world record people, so we'll struggle a little bit there. Normally, you just throw it onto the cube and you're able to open up the ending door and portal through, but, you know, I mean, it's pretty embarrassing making mistakes in a speedrun. I haven't done that since I've learned the game. I actually play the game frame perfectly. Uh, here's a pretty exploitable chamber. One simple fling skips the whole thing. Before GLaDOS even starts her dialogue, it's quite pathetic actually. And next we're going to go to chamber 15, if you're keeping count. <laughs> that was chamber 14 with the fling. Probably the most forgettable chamber in the game, but chamber 15 is pretty cool. We're going to be doing some really fast stuff. We're going to start with an orb cycle. We're going to hopefully get. Just like that. And now we're going to portal over here and fling over this little blockade. Blockade. Glass? I don't know. Now we're going to do some portal stands and fling to the end of the test chamber. Again, I don't like calling them test chambers. I mean, we're not testing too much other than how broken these chambers are. Truly. Alright, I know you're saying, alright, this is like really cool and all that, but like, there's no threat. Like, nothing's gonna kill you. 
Due to um, this is where Android Hell comes in. This is Chamber 16. Next to the cube, next to the Chamber 12 cube, though, it's arguably the second coolest part of the run. Um, we're gonna be shooting a lot of portals really fast. I want you guys to keep count in chat how many portals I shoot, okay? Good luck. And that's the chamber. It should be quiet because that section really speaks for itself. It's a very cool part of Glitchless. Um, the one thing you might want to notice there is that um, we did put the turret on a button. Kind of glitchy. It's not really a glitch. It's completely put in the game that turrets will activate the button. And here we have the companion cube. You played Portal, you know and love the Companion Cube. His heart's a little bit of a different color. His, I don't, what gender's the Companion Cube? We'll go with the solid non-binary for now, but um, we're just gonna be jumping through these orbs. There's not much we can do to speed it up, because that would be cheating. We're gonna be getting a camera here, and this chamber is pretty cool, but we're gonna be skipping it using physics objects. If we make a third grade Lego project, we can stack those on top of each other and just get right to the end. You did it. The way Nothing glitchy about, you know, making your own pillow fort. However, Except out of a camera and a cube. You for the rest of Say the goodbye to the companion cube. You use yeah, the poor guy. Oh, you hate to see it. You really hate to see it. Can I get a Bible thump for that? That's, ugh. Oh. Mm. It, hurt, it hurts me every time, trust me. Chamber 18, we're going to continue to use uh, abuse physic, physic props, I should say. Uh, we got to get a camera. So, uh, mom get the camera. Except, mo mom's not home right now, so I'm going to be getting the camera myself. So, we're going to go into this part of the test chamber. It's pretty cool. It has a ton of turrets and orbs. Uh, yeah, not about it. We're going to prop this camera against that door. And if there's no door behind it anymore, it'll lean in and it'll block the door for us. And then we'll just be doing some flings to the end here. There's this thing called a reportal. Um, probably the most controversial trick we do in the run. I say trick because it is not a glitch. Fortunately, though, I didn't get any reportals, so this run is very pure. <laughs> Chamber 18 has a long elevator, too. It won't continue until... Um, GLaDOS' dialogue is over, so pretty resident sleeper, but um, I assure you, the run will not be resident sleeper after this elevator ride, because we'll start the escape sequence. Um, definitely the most fast paced part about the glitchless run. We're going to start off with a bunch of portal peaks. They're pretty fast. Oh yes. And we'll just fling right over here. Normally GLaDOS has some witty lines where she talks about how you're escaping and to come back. Uh, but we just do it so fast that she doesn't even realize. We're gonna continue escaping. You can't shoot through that pipe, it doesn't have a portal hitbox. You can see very delayed GLaDOS is gonna ask us what we're doing. And this is a chamber 9. However, this time we have two portals, so we can just go right through. No cube necessary. And here's a small little skip where there's a very small uh, place where we can shoot that portal. And now yeah, you can see we just about finished the map before GLaDOS realized we were leaving. So GLaDOS, is, GLaDOS has about a 30 second reaction time, which is uh, no wonder why she's you know, easily beaten in the end of the game. Did I just spoil that? I apologize. Here's EOO, it has some pretty fast movement. Oh, that's unfortunate, whatever. This chamber plays very similarly to what it does in the inbounds category, other than inbounds has a couple of cheeky ABHs in it, but the portal shots and the route is very similar. And probably the hardest map in the glitchless speedrun, we're gonna go on to EO1. Or escape one If you lean against those doors, there's a weird trigger where it'll open. You're normally supposed to wait for them to gradually open. The game is supposed to open them for you, but we'll wait. We want to keep this turret alive, and we're gonna do turret flippy, skippy, tricky. 
some stupid name right. like that. <laughs> Trust me, there's a much longer name to it and it all rhymes and all that, but we're just gonna bring this turret through. Normally you're supposed to use the rocket turret right here to break this glass. Oh, you need to break this glass, buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> yep, now he's cooperating and he's gonna shoot down that glass for me. And we're gonna use the rocket turret to break this glass. Swing right to the end. Oh. Normally you're supposed to get a cube to climb up in this event, but a well time jump can do so. And some portal peaks to the change level trigger. Now, this will be the last map of the game. So time will be coming up in about two minutes. There's a big room with turrets here, but I don't I don't see all the fuss about it, really. We're just gonna quickly make our way into the final boss's chamber. You found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? Yeah, it was because pretty worth it. Your violent behavior, the only thing you've managed to break so far is my heart. Oh. Maybe you could I love you too, Gladys. We'll no homo, of course. None of that. It's not in that way. Isn't going to happen. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise. Yeah, similar to uh, I surprised you guys with the Portal One glitchless run. Gladys has a surprise, and it's her own doom. Um, those cores are how we're gonna go about the boss fight. She drops one for us as a freebie between these cutscenes, but um, she has four cores. Uh, once all four are incinerated in this incinerator, uh, she will die, basically, so. Uh, the way the boss fight works is that a rocket turret will come out of here, and after GLaDOS is hit with a rocket turret, um, she will let off a core from her body. And we have to go refresh, retrieve it. I was gonna say fetch, and then I started to say retrieve. It, it was ugly, regardless. And then we're gonna incinerate that. And like any boss fight, three times the charm. So we have three three cores to deal with. Um, and we're doing an advanced strat where I have the turret directly shoot Glados, just like that. It's quite precise, and it saves about ten seconds overall if you do it three times. You think you're doing some damage? Two plus two is. I let you survive this long because I was curious. And we're gonna incinerate this. And we have one more core. Time will be coming up in about ten seconds. This one's the hardest one to hit her with because Glados is swinging a lot. Fortunately, we got it. When I said deadly neurotoxin. And massive sarcasm. Time. That is the run. That is Portal Glitchless. Honestly, it's not. Um, that was about a 1640 in game time. If anyone's curious. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get cut off, but yeah, Portal One is pretty cool. Also, shoutouts to the Source community. Half-Life Done Enormously Warp was just released today. Very interesting run, if you want to see it. Um, I wouldn't say cool, but interesting to say the least. Also, yeah, make sure to follow Shots Fired Marathon. You can follow me. I have the world record for Portal. I played a little bit, not too much. I'm. Who do you think I am? But um, yeah, make sure. Thank you to all the people behind the scenes. I know everyone's really sad. Shots Fired is coming down to an end. It's really unfortunate. We'll be back in half a year, guys. Don't worry. But until then, keep it real. Enjoy the last couple of runs of the marathon. God bless.